In terms of curriculum development, how much input do you take from industry on it or how much do you develop in-house? Well, uh, we have continuous uh, contacts with industry at various levels. Some of us uh, work in industry in parallel as, to, as working for the universities uh, and we certainly involve industry at various stages including defining uh, student projects and uh, the industry offer internships to our students and um, there's a careers fair that we do where they come to uh, try and recruit people for jobs and so on. So we certainly uh, have the pulse of the situation. At the same time, we don't want to just follow the latest fashion and teach whatever it is that the industry requires this year, because we want to give you a broader and more valuable foundation that will serve you for the next few decades as opposed to just the next three years. So we are not a replacement for the training course that new recruits get when they join the company. That's still the company's job to do. We are giving people a foundation that will let them be valuable wherever they go afterwards uh, in the next few jobs, not just in the first one after they graduate. And so for that, we take a slightly longer term view. So if, if uh, this year uh, a programming language is very popular and the next year another programming language is all the rage, it doesn't necessarily mean that we start teaching another programming language in, as the first of our trust, besides the fact that we, we teach several programming languages, if you see what I mean.